some of the foregoing sessions we have mentioned the tasks running on the process station. Especially when we were talking about system tasks, we said you should not worry about these as we will explain their function and usage later on. This will happen now. In this session we will talk about tasks, their meaning, their cycle times and priorities, about multitasking and process image. As we have already seen, the system distinguishes between user tasks and system tasks. User tasks are cyclic tasks, while system tasks can run cyclically or only once. The maximum number of user tasks is 9 per process station. 8 can be defined as cyclic and 1 as default task. A default task is a specific task running with lowest priority. It will be automatically started again when it's ready. Therefore, it needs no specific cycle time. The lowest cycle time of a cyclic task is 5 milliseconds. We recommend that tasks and default tasks should not run together in one controller. Each task has its own priority, which is given by a number between 50 and 99. The default task has 50. This means it can be interrupted by any other task. All other cyclic tasks have priorities between 51 and 99. You define these parameters in the configuration window of a task. Let's now talk about the system tasks. These are predefined and their name is a synonym for their function. There are several ones that run only once, like cold start, warm start and error task. They run once, for example, at cold start, at warm start or in case of an error. In other words, they are triggered by a certain event. When such a task is running, no other task can interrupt it. That means this task is exclusively running. Consequently, its runtime is restricted to 10 seconds. A warm start, for example, will be performed after a short power fail. When a controller performs a cold start, it initializes all global variables with their initial values. You can define those in the variable list. Here we see the column initial values. You can add your own program to each system task. There are two system tasks running cyclically. These are responsible for lateral or peer-to-peer -peer communication with other process stations. One for sending data, LATCOM send, and one for receiving data, LATCOM receive. Finally, we have the error task, which runs at the highest priority of 100. This task is looking for errors in user tasks. An example could be the well-known division by zero. And in this case, an own workaround can be configured and applied. In this case, you should analyze the system variable error number. As the error task has highest priority, it cannot be interrupted by others. In our simple examples, we have already seen that several tasks can run on one controller. The question is how they will be scheduled. First of all, with their cycle time. Tasks with same cycle time will be scheduled in accordance with their priority. Let's explain this with an example. We start with two tasks, each with an execution time of about 80 milliseconds. Task 1 has a cycle time of 200 milliseconds with priority 70 and task 2 of 600 milliseconds with priority 60. Task 1 starts. When it has completed, task 2 starts. Both tasks together need less than 200 milliseconds. Therefore, they run without disturbing each other. Now let's assume that the execution time of task 1 is 130 instead of 80 milliseconds. When task 1 is ready, task 2 starts, but it cannot finish and will be interrupted by task 1 at 200 milliseconds. This is because task 1 has a higher priority. When task 1 has executed a second time, task 2 starts 
where it was interrupted and will be finished. Let's now explain the process image. As mentioned earlier, each task copies its input variables during startup to a local storage, the so-called process image. This storage exists as long as the task is running. It is a snapshot of all read variables at startup time. All programs within the task will use these copies when they refer to the process image. If a variable is written via process image, the global variable gets updated at the end of the task. Reading all data at one point in time keeps their internal relation. And the same applies for writing values to the global variables. Imagine a program that performs a specific linearization of several temperature values. If the values are written directly when available, other programs may read a mix of corrected and non-corrected temperature values, which could cause a problem. Therefore, again, it is strongly recommended to use the process image for read and write access. Process image variable names start with an add sign. In this session, we talked about user and system tasks, cyclic tasks and those triggered by an event, multitasking with priority control and the process image of variables.